Hi, I'm Ann from Duct Tape and Denim, and I own a small business where I sell mostly handmade Christmas ornaments, but I also sell some handmade jewelry and some other things that we make and a lot of vintage items and repurposed items also. I just did a video about what sold in our antique mall booth in March, and today I'm gonna to show you what sold online. I sell on Etsy, Amazon Handmade, and I also have an eBay account, and I have a Shopify store. Each one of those is a little different. Each platform is different, and I like them all for different reasons. Okay, I'm gonna start with Shopify today. It is my current favorite platform to sell on. This is one of the most popular things on our Shopify, in our Shopify shop this month, um, Angel Wings. We sold these a couple years ago for several, several years, and they were always one of our most popular items. And then our metal cutter ran out of metal, has been looking for it for a while, and he finally got some back in, so it's in our shop now. Uh, we sold mostly craft supplies on Shopify in March. And I'm gonna include little vintage items like this. It's probably craft supplies. And I think they're craft supplies because I shared a video about how to make these. And I noticed a lot of the people that bought the wings also bought the uh, clothespins. So we sold some of these. Um, unpainted rolling pins, and then some little vintage items like faucets. We sell a lot of these, and also for crafting purposes, crafting and DIY purposes. And then this is something fun that I do every now and then. It's a mystery box full of vintage Christmas supplies. I sold one of these in March. So somebody out there is doing some Christmas crafting already. I think I've got three left, so they're over there. I saw one keychain. Keychains used to be a big seller for us and now they're not. So they're just kind of sitting there, usually on sale. So if you need a keychain, go over and look in our Shopify shop. And I do that a lot with Shopify so that I don't have to pay the listing fees on Etsy or Amazon or eBay. Just leave them in my Shopify shop. All of our t-shirts are on Shopify. So we sold 15 t-shirts last month. This was the most popular, so I'll pull this one out. What are you gonna do with all that junk? All right, what else did we sell? Um, 29 different craft supplies, 15 shirts, 13 vintage items, five different pair of earrings. I didn't bring any of those out, but here's my favorites that we sell on, on Shopify. Um, three necklaces, including the coffee necklace, which I think I think I sold some coffee necklaces on every platform this month. This is a really good seller for us, the coffee necklace right there. I um, also sold some stickers, and I'll see if I can drop a picture of the stickers in. And also, we have a few home decor pieces that um, we have left over from when we sold at Canton. These are things that I bought wholesale, and I still have some left, so they're sitting there in our Shopify shop. And I will drop pictures of them here, too. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Etsy. And we sell a lot of Christmas ornaments on Etsy, mostly in November and December, but we sell Christmas ornaments all year long. In March, I sold 14 state Christmas ornaments. And we have Christmas ornaments for every state. I also sell these on Shopify and Amazon Handmade, but on Etsy, they sell more all year long. Okay, so that's a state. We have some, all 50 states. Some states we have large and small. Uh, one other Christmas ornament, two windmill ornaments. Now these are not necessarily Christmas. I mean, I know people put these, have told me that they buy them to put in their um, tiered tray decor, stuff like that. So they're not only Christmas. I also saw, sold three dog ornaments. This is a little Scotty. We have like 13 different breeds, I think. One coffee ornament, there's that. And again, we sold some coffee necklaces and a salt of the earth necklace. This is one that 
has been popular on Facebook every time I share it. Just an old uh, salt shaker, and it says salt of the earth on there. What else? Four pair of earrings. I don't sell a whole lot of earrings, but they're really fun to make and easy to make, so I, I love making them. Owl pillows. This is something new that we have been making out of all those vintage trims and fabrics that we've been collecting. Uh, the felt is not vintage, but my niece has been having a ball making these. So we sold three of these. This is a brand new item too. So we sold three of those. And because it was Easter last month, we sold some eggs. We sold these in sets of three. Um, how many pair? Oh, I only sold one, one set of these. But I sold a lot of <laughs> hearts still. We started making the chenille hearts for Valentine's Day. I'll have to put a picture up here because we're currently sold out. <laughs> we started selling them for Valentine's Day and I just keep them, kept them up and they kept selling. And we sold uh, four sets of those in March. And we also sold some drop cloth hearts also, set of three and they're like seven inch I'll, I'll put a picture of these here too, okay? And now let's move on to Amazon. All right, Amazon was very low this month, and that's typical because I sell mostly Christmas ornaments on March. Amazon. We sold two coffee necklaces, two state Christmas ornaments, and a tractor keychain. Here's a tractor keychain. And that's all that we sold on Amazon last month. I also sell a few things on eBay. I sold an art glass paperweight. I think that one sold for like $24.99. Uh, a Pampered Chef cheese grater that I found at Goodwill in one book. Now, it's funny because my eBay name is ABC Books because I've had it for so long. I think I started in 1999, y'all. <laughs> it's been that long on eBay. All right, that's it. That was kind of a generalization on for my online sales. So if you like videos like this, let me know in the comments and I will do this again for you next month. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.